Burmaku Resistance Notes October 7, 2022. Junta troops are afraid to leave Tamu town in Zagaing region on the Indian border, because they know they will be attacked by PDFs as soon as they enter rural areas. They delayed plans to rotate troops for a week, then tried to proceed in stolen civilian cars, but were attacked and had to retreat back to the town. The entire township is liberated except for the town. Junta-sponsored Pius or Hati terrorists are impersonating people's defense forces and attacking UN humanitarian staff who assist refugees, according to a statement from the National Unity Government. The NUG advises UN agencies to coordinate closely with it to ensure their safety in liberated areas. Of course, the UN is still collaborating with the illegal military regime and does not officially recognize the NUG even though most refugees are in NUG or ethnic homeland territory. A PDF specializing in military engineering, all self-taught after the coup, the Flying Dragon Force, is manufacturing a 9mm semi-automatic military rifle that uses standard shells and has an accurate range of 200 meters and costs $150 to make. Ethnic regions. Kachin Army forces and allied PDFs have been battling junta troops in Banmauk Township, northern Zagaing region continuously since October 4. Yesterday it was going so badly for the regime that it sent three jets in the morning and two in the afternoon to bomb the area. Junta troops retaliated against Kyaukai civilian village, setting it on fire. On October 4 Kachin forces raided a police barracks in Banmauk town, wounding 14 officers. In Chin state, Chin defense forces attacked a junta infantry battalion from close range in Mindat town on October 5. They say there were numerous junta casualties, but no numbers are available. The junta then fired a mortar barrage into surrounding civilian villages. In northern Shan state, a junta judge famous for accepting bribes in return for verdicts and for imprisoning political activists, was gunned down yesterday in News Town. A video of the shooting is circulating. The killers aren't named, but could be a local PDF or some of his many enemies. In Kothule Duplayer District Mayawadi Township on Burmese maps junta troops again tried to advance on the Mayawadi War Lay Road near Palu yesterday, and were repulsed by the Karen Cobra Battalion. The junta fired large 120mm mortars, while the Cobras used mortars, drone bombs, and snipers to repel the invading troops, at least one junta soldier is confirmed dead yesterday. In the same general area, Karen forces also responded to junta troops trying to invade a hill near Townley, killing one of them and wounding four. In Kothule Bait Tavoy District Tananthari region on Burmese maps, a PDF team bombed a 10-vehicle junta convoy on the Dawei Mayata Road yesterday. A truck was damaged, but casualties aren't known. Also, the junta is trying to stage the traditional strike festival in Tavoy, Dawei, but a local PDF detonated a bomb at the fairgrounds where the junta's preparations are underway. Local defense forces have advised the public not to lend legitimacy to the regime's false celebrations by attending, especially since the venue is a target for PDF attacks. In Kareni State, witnesses report 20 truckloads of junta troops moving into the state toward Loikor along the Pinlong Road. The Mobi PDF warned civilians to beware of renewed fighting. In Mon State, a Mon ethnic army, the MSRO, fired 40mm mortars into a junta artillery base in Yi Township yesterday. Damage isn't known. Junta Army Desertions One junta defector, an army major, has turned out to be a spy rather than an ally. Major Mayo Min Tun returned to the junta after several months in the CDM, and began spreading false information through the junta's propaganda media. The CDM military movement has branded him a traitor and called for him to be targeted by resistance forces. Junta scorched earth village terrorism campaign. Troops torched Kin Mon village and seized, beat, and tortured about 400 residents in Shongu township of Zagaring region yesterday. They also retaliated for Kachin army attacks by burning villages in Banmauk Township of Zagaring region. People's Defense Forces PDFs. 13 junta supply boats moving up the Chindwan River in Zagaring region were fired on yesterday in Kani Township by local PDFs. Five troops on the boats were hit by snipers and collapsed into the river, and two of the boat engines were damaged. After the boats moored at a village overnight, they were attacked again by another PDF this morning. 
In Zagaing region, a Shonggu PDF blew up two trucks yesterday that were transporting junta troops. After detonating roadside bombs, the group briefly exchanged fire with the troops, but was outgunned and withdrew safely. There were junta casualties but the number isn't known. In Wanduan Township a PDF shot dead two junta police who were patrolling on motorcycles today. In Pali Town, a junta patrol was attacked by a local PDF last night, and five or more junta troops died in the firefight, while one PDF soldier was wounded. In Magwe region, collaborating PDFs attacked a junta food resupply boat in Yesigyo Township two days ago October 5, killing nine troops and wounding two. On the Maiyang Pakoku Road yesterday, a PDF dropped two grenades from a drone on a Paiyu Saw Hati Road checkpoint, wounding two of the terrorists. In Yangon region, a PDF fired 40mm grenades at a junta barracks, a police station, and a junta admin office this morning, causing explosions. Damage isn't known. In Irrawaddy region a PDF bombed a junta admin office in Chankan Township yesterday. Civil Disobedience Movement CDM. An aviation fuel supply company left Burma. Singapore-based Puma Energy, which supplies fuel at airports, responded to international humanitarian pressure and ceased operations in Burma after selling its market share. As AA jet fuel supplier, Puma was supporting junta airstrikes on civilian targets such as the Buddhist monastery housing refugees in Payathonsu, Kothule Duplaya district, which was bombed and destroyed yesterday morning.